Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett. You're not going to see me yet because we're not going to put on the video till about 25 minutes from right now. Because right now we got to go check in with our old friend that we do once a week. Ladies and gentlemen, we go out to uh, San Francisco, California, which used to be my favorite city in the whole world, but I hear if I ever go back, it won't be. No. <laughs> to meet and check in with Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello. Yay, Bubs. Hello, Alex. Although it would be nice if you came back, you could uh, help me install high-speed internet. You could see a bunch of old people out here want to see you. Yeah, well, I got to get out there, okay? Uh, you know. Uh, and uh, I will, I suppose, in the next. Uh, what I got to do is I got to say uh, I'll take a couple of weeks off from GabNet. And just let it, you know, simmer uh, and come out there and just hang out because I don't feel like going out there and doing shows, you know, things like that. Yeah. So. Plus, I really don't have any way to do it because I don't have what uh, I don't have a portable machine, you know, a laptop. I think they call them laptops. The kids are calling them laptops these days. And Well, you don't know what I'm even talking about, do you? Absolutely not, no. No, no. Because Larry is the ultimate, we call upon him as the ultimate Luddite. I'm a Luddite. This is a guy who for the last, I don't know how many years, uh, has pretty much eschewed technology. Mm -hmm. Right? The closest you have is, is a phone. You have a, you have a cellular phone. However, it's a, still a... Uh, what is it? A flip phone. A flip, a flip phone. phone. Yeah. How old is that phone? I think it's about 12 years old. It's uh, just learning to text, which, uh, you know, you got to, the flip phone, you have to hit the button three times to get one letter. So, <laughs> a little, little tedious. No, you don't want to, you know, all I'm saying, if you ever get the high speed dial up, I got an iPhone waiting for you here. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's called an iPhone 6S, which is a, a good one, really good one. And that one, you can just dictate into it for your text. That's, I see the kids do that. That looks like it'd be fun. Well, I tend to dictate rather than, uh, than uh, do anything else because dictating uh, allows me the ability to not have to sit there and type this thing out you know, one, one right. character at a time. Uh, and uh, sometimes, you know, it, it gets me wrong, but fuck it. You know what I'm trying to say. You know. Yeah, I heard they're getting better at uh, not screwing the words up. But. Voice recognition, Google's voice recognition is excellent, as is uh, Amazon's with Echo. But the voice recognition on Apple is not as good. It's not as accurate. Uh, so, you know, whatever. The only thing, you know what I hate about uh, my, you know what Echo is? Do you have any idea what that is? Uh, do I have to explain it? I, it's something, I think it's something to do with Amazon, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> something to do with Amazon, but I don't know what it is. Okay. It's a, uh, it's a thing. It's a, you talk to it. You say, yeah, Echo, what time is it? It tells you. Or, Echo, what's my next appointment? Uh, Larry Bubbles Brown. Thank you very much, Echo. Right? <laughs> it, 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 wouldn't you like that? Wouldn't you like that in your home? Nah, it's too much control. I don't like it. No, no. I see. Okay. So anyway, what happens was I, I, it, it responds on its own sometimes. And the problem is that I have both two of my echoes near my surround sound speakers. So I don't know if there's some kind of signal or whatever, because you got to say echo first or Alexa first in order to make it work. All right. So I have, nothing's coming across on the TV set saying anything like that, but apparently there must be some kind of signal or whatever, and all of a sudden it's like she's got Alzheimer's. She starts mumbling to you. <laughs> you know, well, the high, high to Mount Everest is blah, 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 blah. And I'm going, what? You know, so I, I kind of, you know. So I'm in the bedroom the other night, the guest room, 
where which is kind of my man cave, and I've got my ec- I get an echo set up in there, and uh, all of a sudden, out of no for no apparent reason, she goes, "I don't know what that is." Wow! And it scared the shit out of me because it's like two <laughs> o'clock in the morning, and all of a sudden it's. She's just blurting this out, and she scared the shit out of me. My echo made me pee my pants almost. That would scare you. Yeah. yeah. See, that's why I don't like that stuff. They're, they're going to overtake us. Well, it's not going to overtake you. You know. Well, maybe it will. You know, I mean, we've always had those cautionary tales. Like, do you ever see that movie, Forbin the, Col- Forbin the uh, Colossus Project? No. About they build this this machine to just run everything in the United States, and it's in a it's in a big vault of, uh, out in the mountains in the desert or whatever, and it learns to communicate with the Russian uh, computer, and now the two of them plot to take over the world, <laughs> and it's just these two computers, and they can't stop them. Colossus the Forbin Project. That good. That's, that's what it was called. Colossus the Forbin Project. And uh, if you ever get to see it, it's exactly what you're saying. But I, I, you know, I, at least at this point, I don't know that they have the ability to do that. But what we do have the ability to do is to screw them up, and that's what the Russians are doing. You know, so eh, you know. I, Look, you can be right. You, nobody can steal your identity. Because <laughs> they don't want it. And, and even if they did, as you said, then they... <laughs> their life would suck. <laughs> and they have no life at all, I think, is your line. Uh, well, the first movie about uh, the uh, artificial intelligence kind of taking over, wasn't that 2001? Uh, I think Forbin actually... Maybe Forbin came before... Wow. 2001. I mean, that's just a case of a computer suddenly having a mind of its own on the on a spaceship, you know. Which is a you know. But uh, as for taking over an entire country, yeah, the Forbin Project, the Colossus, starts launching missiles and doing things like that. You know. All right, that sounds like a good movie. Yeah, yeah, it was a very good movie. Uh, I don't know how many people remember it now. I never heard of it. And they'll probably remake it, and it will suck. You know. Or every or they'll remake it and people will go, yeah, well, yeah, that's already happened. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Has there ever been a good remake of anything? <laughs> Has there ever been a good remake of anything? I'm trying to think. Uh, there have been some good remakes, and I'm trying to remember them now. But for some reason, I am my brain is just mush today. That's why I had to go out and get my coffee before I did this. Uh, Lord Saul had a funny line about the remake because <laughs> they always suck. He said they don't remake them like they used to. <laughs> they don't remake them like they used to. Is that a new <laughs> new line of his? Uh huh. That's a great line. It's a great line. <laughs> they don't remake them like they used to. No remakes. Uh, 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 let me see here. Good remakes. Um, well, how many times are they going to do a Star Is Born? Which was a shitty movie to begin with. But. Well, it wasn't a shitty movie to begin with. The original one with ja- Janet Gaynor and uh, Frederick March. Uh, two people that most people who have seen the other Bo- uh, Star is Born don't even know existed. Uh, I, yeah, I didn't see that one, no. No, though that one, it was, that one was the standard for them all. I mean, it's the main story about the girl who gets to know this star and she becomes a star herself and his star fades and you know at the end he commits suicide and everybody cries and everybody walks out of the theater saying wasn't that a great movie but then they tried they remade it with Judy Garland uh and it was uh it was okay you know wasn't bad wasn't great then they remade it with Barbara Streisand that's the one I remember. That one was god awful. <laughs> yeah, and now they're remaking it with Lady Gaga, mm-hmm. but they say it's pretty good. The reviews, you know. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But well, that, that's got to be a record. But, four remakes. Four remakes. Three. Yeah. Well, uh, let me see here. Uh, remakes. I think there've probably been remakes of the original Dracula story more than there have been Stars Born. 
That's true. Yeah. You know. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I'm. But oh God, am I tired today? God, I'm just. Yeah, beat. we're getting hard. the best sequel to a movie I read was probably uh, Godfather Two. Well, that was a that was a good sequel. In fact, it was the only sequel in the history of movies to do what? Uh, win the Oscar. That's correct. It won the Oscar for Best Picture for The Godfather, and then it won it a couple of years later for uh, Godfather 2. Uh, yeah, and I, th I always thought 2 was a better of them. They're both great. But. I always thought 2 was better, too, as well. And then I went back and started watching 1 again, and as I watch 1, I think they're on about an equal par with each other. You know. Uh, he structured the second movie differently so that it went back to the beginnings of Vito Corleone. You know, and mm -hmm. it was a masterful picture. Oh, the yeah. one that sucked was Godfather Three. Oh, that ne yeah, never should have been made. Hmm. Coppola, you'd think. Well, why did Coppola do it? Because of the money? No, Coppola did it for one simple reason. They threatened to have Sylvester Stallone direct it. Really? Yes. <laughs> so he figured, ah, what the fuck. And then he went and did it, and it, what he said was, this isn't a sequel. Uh, this, is, uh, this is not a sequel at all. This is, a, this is just another story of The Godfather. You know. So they, they, he kind of protected himself. But still, you know, if he had never made that movie, those two pictures would stand as being wonderful. But with the third added to what is now called the trilogy... It's kind of like uh, Star Wars was the same way. Star Wars was a great picture. Then they came out with uh, uh, the Empire. Uh, what was it? Was it was which one was the second one? Return of the Je no, uh, the Empire Strikes Back, and that was good because in that one we find out that Luke's father is Dark Darth Vader. Okay, that was great. Then he does the third one, which is the Return of the Jedi. And that just, I felt, sucked big time. Mm -hmm. Because they, to begin with, he decided he wanted to merchandise something, so he invented these little characters, these teddy bears with lips, you know, <laughs> called the Ewoks. And they were just ghastly. Just, mm -hmm. you know, being cute and mincing around and singing their little fa-la-la-la songs. And, so, and you're going, oh, my fucking God, what's wrong with this movie? And it was such an, a downer to see that you had a trilogy, and when it was coming to a close, the one that closed it sucked. Yeah. And then he came back and made another three prequels to Star Wars, all three of which sucked. You know, like uh, uh, the young Anakin Skywalker when he's a child and... Uh, a Jedi Knight says, we're going to take you away and make you a Jedi. He goes, yippee. Now, I don't know. In a <laughs> galaxy far, far away, I just don't think that little kids go yippee. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter if those movies suck because he's got such a built-in audience. I guess he's got a built-in audience, but you know, he's got built-in suckers is what he's got. Yeah. Now, people that go, oh, yeah, okay, that's going to be a good picture. Oh, yeah, that's going to be terrific. Yeah, that's wonderful. I can hardly wait for the new Star Wars pictures. What? Yippee? You know. Yippee. And all of a sudden, everybody's going, that's the... Oh, and, and Jar Jar Binks. I don't know if you remember that. Did you follow these movies at all? I never really followed the uh, Star uh, Wars thing. What did you follow? Do you follow anything? Did, have you even I, ensconced yourself in the even the twentieth century? I did. I've seen. I did. I did like the Godfather movies. Uh, you know what's amazing to me, and you know so much about film, is uh, Coppola had such great success, and then it just seemed like he kind of quit directing films. He didn't do that many films. Well, he, I think he he decided. I think he was tired of it. You know. Uh, he uh, even when he did something b that they considered bad, uh, uh, and I'll give you an example of what they considered bad. They considered um, uh, what do you call it? Um, 
uh, 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 one from the heart. That's you know I still haven't seen that, but I'm dying to see it. Actually, I like that movie, but when he made it, they just said, "Oh, what a terrible film! What just an absolutely terrible film!" And I loved it. I th I thought it was, you know, because here's how I felt about Coppola. Even bad Coppola was better than most good anybody else's. Right. You know, because it was always interesting to watch what he would do with it. He would do something different, and he would present it in a different way. I mean, his Dracula is a much different Dracula than any other Dracula. Uh, and so I, I don't know. I just, uh, I, I, I just uh, uh, felt that he was even interesting when he was bad. And then he had such, in that short period of time, he made The Godfather, The Conversation, then Godfather 2. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And, and Apocalypse Now. Yeah. Which everybody said was going to be an absolute failure. And uh, it came out and everybody went, this is a masterpiece. You know? So, I mean, he, he really just... Overall, very interesting to watch, even his failures. Uh, and and uh, I, I uh, you know, as I say, I loved the, uh, loved his films, and I I wish he was still making them. But hey, he's making wine now, and he doesn't give a shit. He's happy. Well, what was it? was the one from the heart the last one he made? No, 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 no. There were there was one he made a few years ago. I'm trying to remember the name of it that I can look it up here. Uh, let me see here. Go to IMDb, put in Coppola, and see what comes up. Coppola. There we go. Uh, Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, here we go. Um, well, let's see here. Producer. I don't want producer. I want director of films. Okay, here we go. Well, he's doing one now called Distant Vision. Uh, wow. who, who's, who is in it? Well, wait a minute. There was a 2011 version. Who, who's in this thing? Distant Vision. A uh, bunch of actors I never heard of. Bunch of actors I never, ever heard of. Uh, a coming-of-age story of a teenage Italian-American boy and girl. Wow. But the pictures that I the picture I was thinking of, they made a few others. Um, let's see here. I don't want producer. I want director again. You fucking idiots. Give me uh, Tetro was the last one I remember seeing, and then there was a film called Twixt, Youth Without Youth. And I saw that, and that wasn't wasn't bad, okay. But I mean, he. I don't, I don't know where his heart is in making films anymore, you know? Yeah. But listen, I want to talk about something because this is the day we should be talking about it, I guess. 9-11? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about uh, disaster days. Now, 9-11, you, you were still living out here, I think. Yes, I was. I was. And I, I woke up that morning and because the phone rang. And it was my friend Shecky. It was like, I don't know, 7 o'clock in the morning in California, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, uh, quick, turn on your television set. And I turned it on. I said, what the fuck happened? I said, the World Trade Center's on fire. He said, no, a plane crashed into it. And as we're sitting there talking, <laughs> the second plane crashes into the other tower. And I went, fuck. You know, we've been attacked. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that was my remembrance of 9-11. I then remember getting dressed really fast. I was working at CNET at the time. And my always your inclination when you hear about a tragedy like this in radio is run down to the radio station because they might need help. You know, because somebody's they're trying to cover this incident. So I got down there and I started to help with uh, what was going on, and we this story just kept unfolding, you know. Two two big crashes into the uh, into the World Trade Center. Um, the only thing 
that bothers me about 9-11 is every year we have to suffer it again. Yeah. You know, I mean, all of a sudden, especially here in New York, I don't know, I didn't even look to see if they're ringing the bell, you know, 3,000 times or something like that <laughs> to see, you know. Uh, and the president's going down to Shanksville, you know, uh, uh, to, to honor that. And uh, everybody's... You know, every, it's one. Here's what you do: once every year for five years after it first happened, you do a big deal about it, right? Then the next, then you wait five years, and at the ten year mark, you do a ten tenth year anniversary. That makes sense. Then you do nothing till the twentieth year anniversary. All right. I mean, it, all this. Oh, nine eleven, nine eleven, nine eleven. I mean, yeah, it was terrible. It was horrible. But worse has happened in the rest of the world, you know? I mean, it, 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 we, we just happened to be attacked for the first time. We, we always were immune to that sort of thing. Right, right. And all of a sudden, we weren't immune anymore. And then we went batshit and didn't know what to do to handle it. So we started making people take their shoes off at the airport, you know. <laughs> and passing the Patriot Act. Which... Pa passing the Patriot Act, which, you know, who, who the fuck knows? Can you tell me anything about the Patriot Act? I just know there's nothing good about it. You're forced to be a patriot by law, I guess. I don't know. No, they're allowed to spy on you and uh, use up all your rights. And... Yeah. It's not good. So uh, when I when we come to this day, my part of my mourning is for the passing of America's bravery, guts. You know, we just went all pussy on this thing. You know, and rather than handle it in a rational way, we went absolutely berserk. Um, and uh, you know, it was a it was a sad, horrible day, and it was a terrible thing to happen. It was a brilliant move on Osama bin Laden's part. I mean, I couldn't help but be in awe of the fact that he was probably sitting in that cave up in uh, in Afghanistan somewhere, in Tora Bora, and and watching this thing and going, "Fuck! It it we 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 managed to do it. We actually hit both those towers." Yeah. And then when they came tumbling down, he probably went. My fucking God, I, that, I did, that's, that's frosting on the fucking cake. You know, we just wanted to hit the buildings. We didn't know they were going to come down. So he was sitting there in a Tora Bora, I guess high-fiving like crazy, but going, boy, my life ain't worth shit now. You know? No, even though he did manage to live another 10 years or so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watching porn. <laughs> And, uh, they found porn when they killed him. They found. I porn. know. That's why we, were, we were taken down by that. You, you, well, you know, you know. I mean, look. Uh, if if suddenly you bombed the United States of America, killed three thousand people, the whole world was looking for you. You gotta take time to jerk off. <laughs> That's what I'd be thinking. You know, give me. Excuse me. I need about five minutes here. Thank you. But boy, well, that, was, uh, that was the start of our final decline, I think. But well, what it did is it gave an excuse for a lot of other for a lot of people to take away our rights as a result of it. Yeah, that, you know the, the Patriot Act. The, yeah. yeah, so this was going to going to protect us. You know, it's the kind of thing Trump's going through right now with wanting to build the wall. You know, the xenophobia always plays well in the Midwest. You know. And and uh, I just yeah, I, I was kind of like uh, I I kind of feel that America uh, became less America uh, after that incident uh, because a lot of people were using excuses to take our rights away. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the other day Obama gave a very good speech and what and it was before young people, and he said, you know what the tr thing is. You don't know a time when you didn't have to take your shoes off at the airport. You know, I mean, we remember the day where when you went on an airplane, you just showed up at the gate and walked onto the plane. Yeah, it used to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's it's like we got to get there ten years early so we won't miss the plane. You know, 
because we have to go through security and we don't know how bad that's going to be. Come on, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing approved shoes. Leave me alone. So I, I don't care. Anyway, hey, so, look, I, I, I just looked at the clock. And we got about a, half, about a half a minute left. Do you have any words of wisdom to our audience in that 30 seconds? No, I was going to ask you, I was thinking of other disaster dates. I just wondered, I don't think I ever asked you where you were when Kennedy got shot. I was uh, here in, uh, it was in Marin County. I was in the Navy. I was on leave. So, wow. You know who never could remember where he was on that date? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, George Bush. No, it was Richard Nixon. I thought I thought they both and they they were both in Dallas. Well, yeah. Nixon was in Dallas the day before. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, listen, let's talk next week, and we can get we'll, in. We'll a, pick a, that other, up next other time. Other tragedies, ladies and gentlemen, with the, <laughs> with the king of tragedy, Larry Bubbles Brown. Thanks, Larry. Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gavin, the Great American Broadcast Network. Well, hello, everybody. Oh, no. Look, what, what happened while I was, while I was, while I was uh, 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 doing my uh, thing here, my, uh, my whole picture is out of, uh, out of uh, the way it should be. Uh, let me see here. Where are we? Oh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. I gotta go to Alex. I gotta do that. Then I want to configure the video, and then I want to go to camera control. And let's go tilt upwards. There we go. I don't know how this changed from the way it should have been, but it did change from the way it should have been. Okay, and that's the way it should be. Let me just pan tilt upward a little more. Boom, 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 and there we go. And apply, and then we're we got my picture going. In case you're listening to us uh, on the audio version of this, you have no idea what I just did. But I had to, I had to reset my uh, my video here so that it looks good. All right, okay. Hey, listen. Let me get rid of uh, my music thing here. Let me bring up the uh, citizen panel. Let me turn on uh, the gabnet uh, so we can talk to the citizen panel. There we go. It has started. Uh, and so now we're ready to have our friends uh, who listen to this program and like to call it, call us. And if you'd like to call us and you don't know how to do it, just go over to gabnet.net. And over on the right-hand side of the page, there's a whole column on how to be part of the Citizens Panel. It'll tell you how to download Skype, how to uh, uh, get online with us. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. Uh, and then I, then you can call me like other people aren't doing right now. You know what I hate about, newest thing I hate about Skype? I suddenly noticed that my money was going down a little bit because I have to pay sometimes when I use, when I do a call to Bubs, it costs me money, okay, on Skype. Because he's got a landline. So uh, I wanted to up the amount of money. And so I just said, I want to, you know, add money. And I added money and it added it to my GabNet account, not my personal account. So now I have like $25.50. So, you know, I better start calling out to some people because I very seldom ever have to pay anything on, uh, on this line. On my private line, I do. Because I call Bubs and I call Pearl and, you know, I, and after a while it, it eats up my money. But anyway, our lines are open, and then I sit here and I wait like a, like a damn fool looking at a blank screen. See, there's the blank screen. Uh, uh, I noticed uh, Jeff Stein just signed in. Oh, here, here comes, so, oh, look. Here's Jeff, first of all, and then we add uh, Charlene to the crowd. Uh, and uh, can you, you look a little questioning of things, Jeff. Do you, am I, is there something wrong? No, I'm on, I think. Oh, you're on. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, uh, you know, I, I didn't check to see whether my camera was right or not. So, uh, you know, I, anyway. Well, look, here's Charlene. Huh? Yeah. Hello, Charlene. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, am, am I okay? You'll let me know if my bandwidth is sucky Your or something. Your bandwidth is just fine. You know, I told my son, I said, listen, I had to buy you a phone. I pay for the phone. I pay for all the you know the 
internet and all that. Mm. I said, can I get on at 10 o'clock in your studio and go on? You know, he said, no. I'm so pissed because, you know, I want to go on and I have like, you know, a fill and a... He won't, let, he won't let you go on? Uh, uh, disinherit him. I know. Yeah. I want to kill him. <laughs> disinherit him. Leave him out of the will. Well, Phil, Phil looks like he changed his, his, where, his uh, where his camera is. I'm on yeah. my phone. Why? Oh. Uh, wave Internet is out in my area. Ooh. So there's no, no Internet. Uh, I, am, I, can't, I don't even have TV. Uh, so I uh, set the phone up on Skype. Well, yeah. I think uh, the reason they call it Wave is their slogan is, Wave yeah. your Internet goodbye. <laughs> wave goodbye to your money. <laughs> you just paid us, but you have no Internet. What are your other choices out there? Comcast and AT&T. Okay. at and is not acceptable to you? Uh, it's not, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, the wave is the same as Comcast. has very high speeds. The AT&T is, uh, what's that slow? So DS, uh, D, D, DSL? DSL. They're still DSL. selling DSL? Yeah, this is California. Wow. Know? Wow. Well, it's not wired for, you know. Do you know who uses, you know who still uses DSL? What? Radio stations. Yeah. Like well, if I were to do if, if I were to do a show from here. Yeah. Uh, or ISDN. Yeah, that might be the other one. Yeah. Uh, uh, but ISDN's they, also over the phone line. Oh, by the way, by the way, it's, it's by the way, line. once again, I forgot to show the citizen panel. Look at that. <laughs> well, I, Meanwhile, I just, you know, I just saw. I looked over here to see what was on, and it was me staring at the at the at the uh, screen. So. You're hogging the whole screen. Yeah, <laughs> Did, I, don't, uh, I don't want to do that. I'm too. I, I've gotten to the point in my life where I I don't photograph that well. You know. So. <laughs> Did Larry tell you I cock blocked him on Friday? No. Yeah, uh, I pulled up to the Throckmorton. and he's standing there, and he's chatting it chatting it up with two really good looking women. And so I, 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 you know, walked up to him and, and started chatting with him. And uh, two minutes later, I said, uh, hey, it was nice seeing you. Uh, and, you know, where are those where are those women? He says, well, they left. <laughs> and, I, and I, you know, I said, geez, that's too bad. But I, I cock blocked them. Well, that wasn't nice. Uh, it wasn't on purpose, you know. Well, apparently you cock blocked them. And from one yeah, guy to well, another, that... That's that was totally the end result. right, Scott. Totally unacceptable, right? Unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was the end result. <laughs> you know. It was the end result. Wow. Well, yeah. So anyway, um, so uh, uh, other than that, uh, I have nothing to talk about. Uh, no, I uh, I've been working with the new with the new and improved Mac Mini. Which seems to be even better than it was before, since there's nothing in it any longer. That's the same machine that I got. Just the case, you know. You know, just the case. Did they make it the same speed with the same? Oh yeah, uh, oh, it's the same. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Everything. Yeah, but same but, processor. But it turned out they had to put in another hard drive, which I didn't have to pay for because they didn't correct it the first time. They didn't see it the first time. Yeah, those fusion drives are quick. Oh, they're very quick. And they have a lot more space than just getting a, uh, what do they call those, uh, SSD drive. Now, uh, can you all can you all also see the video feed that's going out at all? I can't unless I go over to it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm be, on Skype. Uh, because, uh, well, then I'll show it anyway. The hell with you. Uh, I, uh, you know, I inherited these photographs from... Uh, from Anne Reinstein, or Annie Reinstone, as she called herself professionally. And she died, and she willed <coughs> I and this other guy all her pictures. And I got the first half of her life, and the other guy got the second half of her life, but we don't know exactly where that falls off. But we do know that the photographs in the first part of her life were all the photographs she took with me at Midnight Blue. <laughs> And so I got some of them today. Now we haven't gotten all of them, but some of them were made, were put on, were scanned, and they sent. He sent me a thumb drive of them, 
and I finally found the Midnight Blue pictures, at least so far. And it's amazing how many pictures in there have me holding a camera at some naked butt or some breast <laughs> or something like that. I'm in like set tw at least 25% of the photographs. Because that's Midnight what you Blue. did on Midnight Blue. Because I was shooting right? and she was behind me covering it. All right. Can you... Can you can you make a slideshow of those photographs on the thumb drive and then post them? No. Or post the slideshow? I, I don't know if I want to. Uh, I don't know yeah. if I want to. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided whether her photography was good enough that I want to, you know, exhibit it uh, or put it into a book or something like that or put it online. Um I do know the stuff from Midnight Blue is interesting. I found a couple of things that were unusual. Number one, you remember remember Wendy O. Williams of the Plasmatics? Mm -hmm. Sure. I just found her, a picture of her doing a sex show at Show World here in New York. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's just one of the things I found. But I, the other thing I found, there's a whole, uh, there was a whole roll of film that was taken at my wedding. Wow. Which, which one? To, to Susan. Oh. Uh, was that the first or the second one? That Sorry. was, that was. Uh, you don't remember the first was, one's name. That, right? that was number, th number three. Three, three. yeah. Number three. Yeah. Ronnie was two. Susan was three. And what's her name is number four. Uh, what is your name? Uh, uh, yeah, what's her name? Anyway, uh, and uh, so. There were these pictures of, of me at the wedding. I sent John Rockwell one of them because it was a picture of a bunch of the people he knew. Wasn't He wasn't in it. Because I don't think he knew me yet at that point when I got married. But a lot of friends that we had in common were at this table, including one guy who's dead, uh, uh, who died of uh, AIDS. Uh, and uh, so there were pictures of the wedding. And then I, I, we had a special guest at my wedding, and I didn't remember it. Here's a photograph. To begin with, in the middle is, is Susan, who, if uh, anybody ever knew her, was just really gorgeous. I, I, Absolutely. She was amazing. Um, uh, she doesn't and she was funny. Huh? And she was, she was oh, funny, she was and she was smart. And she was talented. Yeah. She played the guitar. She sang. Uh, she spoke perfect Yiddish. Yeah. Uh, she acted as a child star in the Yiddish theater, you know, uh, and I came into her life and ruined it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but there's me. Uh, Is that you with hair? That, oh, if I wasn't on the phone, I could that's, see That's you, me right? with hair. That's wow. That's me with what hair. What a handsome devil. Yeah. And who's on the left? That's Susan. Huh? Who? Susan with the sideburns? No, the guy on the left. <laughs> That, no, Susan straight ahead. Oh, okay, okay. The person next to her, I can't remember her name now, was her best friend, who was her, was her uh, 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 bridesmaid, or, or the best woman, or whatever the... Yeah. Maid of honor. Maid of honor. Okay, you know those kind of things, Charlene. Right, and, and, I know it was the woman thing. And we have the thing at the Workman's, Maid of honor. Workman's Circle, which was a very socialist organization, Phil. Uh, but who is that on the left? Michael Landon. No. <laughs> no. The only, the only, actually, the only, I think, uh, well-known person that was at our wedding. I, I can't see the photo because someone. Me either. I'm it. like Phil. I'm on the phone. You, you, yeah. you, you got to. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Um, We're at a disadvantage. We can't see the picture. Yeah. It's Jerry yeah. Rubin. Oh, I would have recognized him, maybe, yeah. Who? Yeah. Jerry Rubin. What do you mean, who? Jeff, you don't know who Jerry Rubin was? No, I know Scott. Scott, I don't know who he is. He was the... Um, he was I one forget. of the Chicago 8, I think. Yeah. Eight, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was amazed that actually I found this picture because I didn't remember him being at the wedding because I would have... If somebody said, was, was Jerry Rubin at your wedding, I would have said no, just simply because we didn't get along that well. Yeah, I didn't think you really liked him. Yeah. But he, he looks kind of short. But he considered me a car a, a friend since whenever he came to New York, he borrowed my car and, oh, went, okay. and went upstate. <laughs> so there's there's Jerry Rubin at my wedding, and there is uh, there's Susan. Boy, she was she was um, 
Yeah. Well, you mentioned it before how very nice she was. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's that's my uh, that's my wedding, folks. It's my wedding. What, what what year? What year is that? That is uh, 19... Uh, 60? 70? Uh, no, uh, uh, 1970... 70. I'm thinking four. 24? 74, maybe. Yeah, 75. Okay. Somewhere around on there. 75, maybe. I don't okay. know. Anybody out there know when I was married the second time, <laughs> third time? <laughs> I saw Tom was in the chat. Yeah. You might know. Uh, Tom? Tom Yamaguchi. Do you remember? Yeah. He doesn't know even, I bet. Well, he's got something up there. Let me look. Okay. Uh, nope. Forbin Kalasa said Jerry Rubin. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, somebody said Abby Hoffman. No, Tom Yamaguchi said Tom uh, Abby Hoffman. No, that wasn't. It definitely wasn't Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that that's my that's my picture for tonight. Uh, I also have a picture of my mother at the wedding, and I have. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see here. Let me get another picture up here. I have uh, to. I have to bring these things in and out of uh, of here so you can see it. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, this is kind of. Uh, let me see here. Uh, there we go. Um, let me see here. Let me bring this in a little bit here. I gotta. I gotta. Oops. I'll do. I'll it. have to go back later and rewatch. You know, so I can yeah, see it. Very nice. I'll do it so you can see the nudity uh, <laughs> uh, here. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, uh, let me let me do this, and there we go. There's me with silver paint all over my face, and a I'm naked and a naked woman in front of me. Are you sure it's not popping up here? Maybe it's oh, slow. No, oh, oh, it, it, no, it wait a minute. Oh uh, no, it takes a while. Okay, it takes okay. a while. Uh, yeah, here, 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 wait a minute, what happened? I don't know. Oh, oh let me see it. here. I oh, know, it's, uh, uh, there, it is. there we go. Uh, yeah, okay. What? What? What am I looking at? That's weird. What do you mean, what do you, oh, some, uh, Jeff, you've done something. I don't know what you've it is. done something. <laughs> you, it said he started recording, and then oh, uh, I oh, think he stopped. Oh, uh, uh, you've got to. Uh, you've done. You've really screwed. Oh, us he's up sharing here. his screen. Don't share the screen. Unshare your <laughs> screen. <laughs> that's what's going on over there. Yeah, I'm bouncing back and forth between I'm, YouTube and I can oh, see. Oh, it on well, there, uh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> nice screensaver. Uh, why don't you hang up, Jeff, and call right back? Okay. Yeah, well. Okay. What the hell <laughs> is, is that about? There we what's go. this a photo of, Alex? Huh? It's that, that's a, a woman, a guy who used to do uh, paint women silver. Yeah. And then hot. would, uh, then would, uh, um, um, you know. Um, she naked? Oh, now, huh? now it says Jeff is recording. Jeff is recording? Jeff isn't even uh -huh. up. Jeff's, Jeff's gone. gone. Jeff Jeff's is, gone. Yeah, okay. Add, add Jeff to the group. Let's see here now. Okay, whatever you did, Jeff, don't ever do it again. <laughs> it's the new, it's the new Skype, and I think it was some kind of share thing or something. Anyway, that's me uh, with a uh, naked woman with silver. And oh, I found a way to watch it and, while and, I'm on. And, it's and, great, and, Alice. And, I love and, that And they picture. put the silver on my face. Isn't that well, it cute? Looks very factory. Like huh? <laughs> Yeah. You like ever see that? All those people on the Rombolus, they they put white or silver on their entire body, and yeah, they yeah. they stand there without moving. Well, that's what this guy oh, did. Oh, yeah, like those uh, clowns, like. Yeah, they I, did that in the train station. I, 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 I wonder if YouTube is going to count this as nudity. Uh, oh. no, yeah, it's, right. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's art, you I fucking assholes. I don't see assholes. nipple, though, really. Though. Huh? I do. I see nipple. You see nipple, do you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see breasts, but not really that prominent hey, nipple. My, I can't figure I, out what the background is, though. It's silver. The whole thing. It's hard to wash it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's silver, too. Man. You were talking about coating yourself. It's like Isn't tin it foil. dangerous, the silver? No, not if you if you leave part of your body without it. That's right. Yeah, like a couple of inches have to be. Yeah, yeah. It's a very interesting photo. I like it. Except for the microphone. What were you doing? Oh, you know, it's the same microphone that I still own, that I've showed you from time to time. Well, that thing's been around. <laughs> yeah, it's been around. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's, that's the microphone I've had since I was, I think, 16 years old. 
Wow. Yeah. And it still works to this day. I use it in the other studio. Get a pretty good grip on it. I know that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm looking at a naked woman. Any other okay. piss? <laughs> What can I say? You had to hold on to something. Well, I, have, I really like I, that. I have one other picture here. Uh, I, have I to missed the other one. Bring it up. <laughs> this is um, this is kind of this is kind of okay. Let me Let's see, see if, I, if I can. Uh, okay. What? Oh, there. Tony. Tony's neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> drag race. Okay, drag here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, she's oh, dead, God. but she's my mother. There we go. That's mom at the wedding. It's coming. Oh, oh yeah. You guys got to wait. Yeah, you got to wait yeah, about thirty it, seconds uh, before you see Jeff it. Unless Jeff messes it up again. No, I don't get anything. So I'm, yeah. I, yeah. And I'm not going to touch anything. It, yeah. it, it's on the YouTube. You got to look on the YouTube, not yeah, on the another page. Not on the, Skype. the YouTube on at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, oh, my wait, this phone has the oh, new God, Skype. I, I got it. Uh, and okay. there's, there's, there's mom there's my wow. mother nice yeah yeah she uh, that was before she was uh, had uh dementia i i think me getting married to susan gave her dementia oh it was the wedding <laughs> yeah yeah but that was my that was my mom so uh, I, I found that too i have a lot a of other pictures picture. i could show you but i haven't uh haven't taken them off to show Are people they these are the photos that Gail shot? Yeah, yeah. This is some of the stuff okay. they shot. And I found the whole reel of, of my wedding. Nice. To mm -hmm. Susan. So, you know, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring those out uh, again some other time. But anyway, that's, now, that's mine. Susan was a year older than me or the same age as me. And uh, if you married her in 74, what was she, 20? No, no, no. She was... I, I don't know how old she was when I married her. I was 18 and 72, and she old? was either either a year older than me or the same age as me. Nice. No, that's not that's not right. There's something wrong there. Maybe I married her. When I when did I marry her? 70, 70 maybe 77. Could have been. Uh, that would make more sense. Yeah. Yes, uh, Jack. Hey, I just uh, wanted to stop by and. Uh, and say this, uh, your mother went to your wedding. My mother refused to go to either one of my weddings. That's not nice. And why is that? Well, the first time I got married, oh, wait, let me turn this microphone. There we go. The first time I got married, she was upset because the woman was five years older than me. Yeah. The second time I got married, she was upset because the woman was five years younger than me and could have done better, she said. Than you? Than me, yeah. yeah. She okay. liked the second one. But uh, yeah. I wanted to say something to Charlene. I have oh. missed you. Oh, I missed everybody. <laughs> I've been listening. I was, thinking, I was thinking about you today. Oh, good. At least somebody I'm is. Because <laughs> I'm stuck out here. Oh, my God. Now they're starting to do like hurricane stuff out here and getting me scared that we're going to be like, because we wait. got flooded in Sandy. Oh, oh yeah. You're in, you're in Jersey. Yeah. 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 So they're starting I, to scare me. Is it going to go that high? I, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get frightened. You know. I thought it was South Carolina. Not to catch the, did you see, yeah. did you see Trump today talking about the whole thing? Gave a yeah. little, little, little thing. He went on the air and then he had this guy from FEMA with the, with the weather map. And it was like. Uh, uh, Trump talking, and now let's go to Bob with the weather. <laughs> right. You know. Puerto Rico was such a success. Yeah, it was a, uh, I, I was glad to hear that. You know, I yeah. thought I thought that 3,000 people had died there. And to hear that it was a success just absolutely <laughs> made me feel so much <laughs> better <laughs> about it. Hmm? What would you say, 3, Scott? 3,000 Democrats. <laughs> and 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 the fist pumps at Shanksville was great. Too, yeah, when he got, off, when the he got off the plane, and he did a fist pump at Shanksville. That was really honoring our dead. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. The man. You no, know, I think they shortened his hair a little bit again. I looked at his haircut, and you know how he has that comb over that's real. They're shortening it. It's looking better, but there's no way he looks any better, no matter that's what. That's just brain does. leakage. Yeah. 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 But uh, no, I when he when he said that, you know. He said, uh, we really, people don't realize how good uh, things turned out in Puerto Rico. 
It's you know, they, they, they still don't have electricity. Unsung success. Huh? An uh, unsung you know, success. Over, <laughs> over 200 I don't homes. Know that, but it's it. Over 200 homes in Puerto Rico have uh, running water, gas, and electric. Over gas. 200 homes? 200. Wow. That's, 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 that's awesome. That's the price. A year later. I should have let more that they, uh, homes that have it or didn't have it before the uh, the uh, storm. And there's a horrible disease or something, too, right? That's God there? bless Donald okay, Trump. Okay, let's, let's say that the electric company was in trouble there and that the electricity was going out. Anyway, wait, let me finish. And let me was. finish. Let me finish. How about the 3,000 dead people he won't admit died? They didn't. Right. You know, people oh die all the time. Coming. People die all the time. Oh, is that your excuse? Oh, just 3,000 the day before the wow. earthquake. There were there were so many people, and there were 3,000 left less the day after. Well, and it's probably it just natural. It's just it natural. It, was the, it wasn't the day after. It was the months and, it, and it, the it, year it, preceding the That's uh, right. Yeah, the it, so they would have died Alex, anyway is what you're saying. Then it died. Alex, you <laughs> <Alex, laughs> just don't understand. Understand, Alex. Don't Slow out. deaths don't count. Slow deaths don't <laughs> count. No. Do you know that they said today that that more people have died as a result of of uh, the uh, bombing of the trade World Trade Center uh, in the years that have followed from cancer and uh, all right. kinds of things uh, than than died in the actual event at the time. Right. So, uh, but, uh, but, anyway. I, but I guess, but I guess using Phil's using Phil's theory, they don't count because they would have died anyway. That's right. Let me ask you this, Alex. When the That's World right. Trade Center cut off was, all their medical benefits, cut them all off. Yeah. Yeah. When the That's World Trade Center off. was bombed, Alex, did, did you live in that area? No, I was it in San in Francisco. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay, that's right. Uh, because when you lived in that area, that was in the early seventies. Oh. I never lived down at that in that part of town, though. That's uh, 14th Street's not that far. From, no, yeah, but, it, but it's it's uh, believe me, in New York, it's a long way. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, uh, but I mean, uh, there were I mean, a lot of people uh, have died as a result of of nine eleven, but they would have died anyway, Phil. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, it was the quick ones, you know, building toys, instant gratification. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. absolutely. absolutely. You know, uh, talking about World Trade Center, can you guys believe, I can't believe it's been 17 years. That's a lot of years ago. Yeah. And then every yeah. time they bring it up, I'm with you, Alex. You know, they keep bringing it up every year. And it kind of depresses me in a way, like, you know, like to relive the whole thing again, because mm-hmm. I remember it and I'll never I don't, forget. I it, don't you know? think, Charlene, that we should ever forget. And, no, I'm not uh, saying forget it, but I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, but I'll tell you one thing. I think every since we now have the way to do these things, that every 9-11, that we all get together and do a fist pump. <laughs> that Double fist pump. Double right. fist pump. That's the best way to Yay, do we're here in Shanksville and everybody's dead. But by natural attrition. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised that he didn't. You know, say it, the question well, is when that plane when that plane <laughs> fell into the field in Shanksville, how many of those people would have died jumping out of that plane anyway? All of them. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> Isn't there a mystery though about that in Shanksville? Like something about there wasn't enough plane wreckage or something. No, the, or, that was the Pentagon. Was that the Pentagon? the Pentagon. That was the Pentagon. They tried to say no plane ever hit the Pentagon. I thought 125 people died in the Pentagon. Well, they would have died anyway. Yeah. Yeah, they would have died anyway. They were in the <laughs> they military. Had a and they, anyway. they, they, they would have been were sent. On the you know something? Goal. If they had stuck, if they had not died, they would have gone to Afghanistan and been killed anyway. Ah, so, right. You know? right. right. You know, if they, and, and besides, if he trashed he trashed the FBI before he made a speech anyway, so they were all junk anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. they're going to no die in collusion. But yeah. they were they were great in the speech. I wonder what Phil's take on Chernobyl is. Then it died. It, it <laughs> it's blown up Russian anyway. collusion. How about Fukushima? <laughs> Fukushima, <laughs> Japanese and Russian collusion. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they did come. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Did you hear the <laughs> Russians and the Chinese, Chinese? The Russians and the Chinese are holding military operations together. Good. War games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to die anyway. We're going to die anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, the North, the North. Uh, oh, and forget about the hurricane display. coming, because those people, Charlene, would have died anyway. So don't. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Hey, the North Doesn't Koreans matter. didn't display their nukes. That's probably because they sold them to Iran. No, because they still got them. Yeah. They're still making them. It's okay. They, still, they got plenty. They're still making so them in, in disguised but, but buildings. Over, they, they denuclearized. We have pictures yeah. of the disguised buildings, as a matter yeah. of fact, yeah. where they're making them. Trump's a genius. Trump's a chump. <laughs> he's a genius. Huh? He's yeah. fooled so many people. He's a fucking genius. Yeah, yeah. And he wanted to kill Assad, but then again, Assad would die by natural attrition, oh, too. So, you know. Well, hey, you know, they chemicals. Got, uh, they, uh, they got Saddam Hussein. Why not Assad? Who, who got him? Who got him? Uh, they found him in a hole because, hiding in uh, some city. Because the difference, uh, the difference, the difference between uh, Assad and, uh, and uh, Hussein is that the Russians like Assad. And so if I, we killed him, that would be a bad thing. I thought the difference was he wore better suits. But um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Hussein was uh, Hussein wore some very Hussein, Hussein wore some very nice suits. Are you kidding? He was oh, very it, dapper. Uh, it's mostly the military looking ones. No, hey, he, no, he know, didn't. He didn't wear. He didn't wear the military stuff all the time. Sometimes he wore very nice suits. Did you see him at his trial? He was very well dressed. I, uh, didn't they hang him? Yeah, I think that was a suit. They hung him. But he would have died by natural attrition. So, you uh, know, there was no he, harm. He died to because his head fell off. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Charlene. You know, I was shocked. I, I saw the, you know, what he said there. Mm -hmm. But he, he didn't, like, say anything like crazy. I was hope, you know, I said, I wish you would say something because that's what he does, you know. Like, take a 9 11 day and say something outrageous, you know. So everyone could say, oh, God, you know, what did he? But he didn't say anything outrageous, he, right? Yeah, he did the right thing during the speech. I mean, he, what you speech? Know. Uh, at, uh, at Shanks. Uh, it really wasn't a speech. Shanksville. That's probably why he didn't say anything crazy, because he didn't go on and on too much, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah. hey, Charlene, don't worry. He has a, another, what, three days in the week to screw up. He'll do it. He'll find something. He yeah, will right. the point America. Because I'm, I'm getting used to it every freaking day. He yeah. says something that's like totally, you know, have you been watching like, I've been watching about all these books written now. And I mean, you know, I, I heard you say, Alex, you know, a lot of people don't like Omarosa, but it is information about what's, I heard her talking about her book. And Woodward's book. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's like funny. It's funny that if you on. if you compare the books, it's you, you'd almost think they talk to each other. Right, right. Uh, because oh, they, they all seem to confirm other, right? each book, and and even that thing in the uh, Times seem to confirm the anonymous guy. Right, the op-ed. Seem to right. confirm the same facts. They stopped talking about the op-ed a lot, but uh, that was amazing too. So I mean, it's pretty much like you know. I think you talked about it. Like Nixon used to talk to the portraits, you know, the paintings in the White House. Yeah. This is even worse than that. Uh, yeah. He's like off the chain. Yeah. You know, it's You're crazy. You're listening to MSNBC too much. I don't listen to MSNBC at all. In fact, yesterday. The only, the only people that are, uh, you know, that are saying these things are uh, the ones that still can't accept the fact that he won the presidency. And. <laughs> Phil's you know, still and, holding and, out. And the media complex. Well, he cheated by the rules. You got to give him credit. Yeah. He didn't cheat. He just did the right thing. And the other person was less electable. Can you imagine well, being wait less electable than Donald Trump? He cheated big time. You big time. Oh, no, he's, he, was, he was far more elected. Right. He, he was she must have been a real loser. No, he, he, he was far more electable from the standpoint that he had the media... Uh, thing from from The Apprentice. I mean, people have discussed how they lit The Apprentice, so he looked presidential. That that whole thing was was presented in the last couple of years to make him look presidential. So he had yeah. that going for him, and everybody didn't realize that. They kind of looked at that as a joke. 
But when you get out to the Midwest, to all these yutzes out there, uh, this, you know, this is the guy who was on television and he was presented as being this very stable businessman. It was this take charge businessman. Stable now, genius. Did you yeah. notice that Hillary's uh, outfits look just like Kim Jong Un's? You know, you know you're making a, you're so, making fun of the yeah, even ma- though she had a bad fashion sense, she still got three million more popular votes, and yeah, only, from, and from only the illegal aliens in California. Up, and only a country that is screwed up would have a double monkey dog kind of system to deny her winning. Well, you you, you have to you know deal with uh, was it. Um, Monroe, uh, who who wrote those uh, the, 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 the Federalist Monroe papers? No, the Monroe. It wasn't the Mon- wasn't the Monroe Doctrine. It was, it's uh, not the Doctrine. Uh, who wrote the Federalist Papers? Uh, Alexander Hamilton. No. Yeah, uh, no. yeah, I think she's right about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well. Uh, that's that's what's responsible for the republic, and that's what's responsible for the electoral college. Another reason to have another constitutional convention and rectify this. Nonsense. I think, as a matter of fact, I would say, and this has always been my feeling, that we should rewrite the constitution. We should go back, amendment by amendment, mm-hmm. and rewrite it to make it <laughs> in, up to date. It, it, because everybody, get everybody, everybody, everybody from, gets uh, a whole. Let me, fi, fin, it, f, Phil. You let know, me. Fl- let, may may well. I finish what I was saying, Phil? Please. The, the Venezuelan Can I finish what I was saying, Phil? Uh, what, what is that noise? Oh, I'm sorry, that was my chair. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, uh, now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, uh, yes. It, you every, wanted every, to every, everybody acts like the Constitution is this perfect, perfect thing. And it's not. In fact, it's old. It's antiquated. It's what, 300 years old? And no, just 200. Mm-hmm. 226 or something. Yeah. 40. Whatever. It needs a rewrite. It needs a hey, reconsideration. Can we only write the Torah. You know, that's like 5,700 years old. That's a religious text. The Constitution isn't supposed to be a religious text. Separation of church and state. And God we trust. Jefferson said we ought to revisit the Constitution every 20 years. Think- and don't forget that. Um, Every other major democracy in the world has redone its constitution at least once. Mm. Yeah, that's usually after the coup. Well, let's have the coup <laughs> get it up with <laughs> it. You know? Sometimes, uh, as, you, as, as you Republicans are prone to say when you're batshit crazy, the uh, tree of uh, freedom sometimes needs to be replenished with blood. Uh, I never heard that. I've heard that. Yeah. I, I like it. I like, I like it. That. Yeah. I like it. I have Viva it. La Revolution. <laughs> Viva La Revolution. Hey, uh, you know, uh, to, on a nicer subject, I, my phone is using the new Skype, and it's I hate it. Uh, I got <laughs> Charlene and Alex in a bubble, Jack in a circle with his initials, and then I've four got squares. Too. I've got uh, it, too, on my phone. The oh, this is not a good thing. That's the way it also <laughs> looks if you have it on your computer. It, it sucks. Yeah. It's plus, functional. Plus, I can't. I could not use this machine to do it with because it will not take the picture. And uh, well, actually, I can. I have a program here which I can. I can suck it out <laughs> on my Mac. It works. I can. I can use the picture, but it's horrible. Because if I'm doing the show here, every time somebody talks, if they're not in the, one of the four squares, I've got to move them into the square. You oh, know, it, uh, it's you a, mean if you touch one of the bubbles, it'll move? You, oh, if you take the bubble. You drag it. And drag it down into one of the squares, it'll replace that square. Yeah. Oh. Is that like circle takes the square? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Exactly, Jack. Maybe that's the reason now, why they're continuing with the classic Skype, because nobody likes this well, new piece of The doggy. only thing I can say about the new Skype is Phil is using the phone, and it probably looks better to just have four people there as your main subjects than to have it all, you know, like it well, is here. I dragged you down to the bottom, and now you're the entire screen, and everyone else is in a bubble. No, 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 you're not doing it right. 
Well, I, you know, uh, I'll end up touching something in a little break. So yes, I'm, I'm not touching you, anything. Or I'll if do you drag the people other side up, they go away, and you can get to a single screen. Yeah. Oh, shit. What happened? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So I dragged I drag Jeff down, and now I got 50% of the screen is Alex, 50% is Jeff, and the rest are Bubbles. Well, Bubbles it, was on earlier. I right, he was. I blocked him. <laughs> go to your settings and go to window instead of float. See the little uh, settings thing next to the people on the top? Go to window. Uh, okay, I don't think I have that. Now what on does that do? Phone. Well, well, if you go to float, you only get like uh, you get like four pictures in the screen, and then one bubble, and then everybody else is just a plus three right now. But if you go to settings window, it still has four people below. Oh. But now I can see everybody. You can see All everybody. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. So then I can drag Jeff down and replace Alex. Boom. Alex is in the bubble, and Jeff is on the screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, is it like on a, it all on depends computer. on it all depends on who you don't mind looking at or something? That's that's right. You know, say. I don't like looking at Jack. Jack scares me. Well, so actually, I, I have I have both classic and the new Skype on my machine. Right, because on YouTube it's okay. Huh? What? On YouTube everything's okay. It's yeah, just YouTube that what the people great. see. That's, well, that's I mean, this is this is right? this is the way uh, for for YouTube this presents itself best. And, you know, I mean, I'd write uh, uh, Skype and complain, but there's no place to write them. There's no place to phone them. And if mm -hmm. you go on, I think uh, you can go on to, they have a, uh, you can chat with one of their people, I think. But then they just tell you, oh, the new Skype is wonderful. Give it a try. <laughs> and there's no way I can, in a very nice way, write back, blow me. <laughs> a robot. Hey, uh, was Marjorie at the U.S. Open for uh, the uh, no, fine, uh, no, the Serena match? No, 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 no. She was she, she was there earlier. I think the week before, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. Alex, did you talk about that? No, I haven't talked about it. You know, a lot of these things happened since we were on last, and I forgot about it. But because you know, you know I feel that she is getting short. You know, didn't McEnroe go nuts? And, and scream and yell and carry oh, at least on. 35 I, years ago. Yeah, and, but I, mean, uh, I felt that, to begin with, let's put this in context, this was the final match of the Open. Mm -hmm. You make a decision like that very carefully uh, before you do it because you're going to mm -hmm. throw the whole match. And here's what he managed to do. I think probably the Korean had a good shot at winning that. Japanese. The, uh, Japanese, excuse me. The Japanese woman uh, had a good chance of winning the match. She was ahead, I think, at the time that the, you know, the, the judge entered into it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think Serena was a little frustrated by that. But Serena, on the other hand, you know, has been on the com comeback trail. And to wind up in the finals amazing. Uh, is amazing. Okay. Uh, a feat in and of itself. But this, uh, this Japanese girl could have won. Uh, on her own, without the judge getting involved in whatever. What mm -hmm. he did, as a matter of fact, is he just put that whole match with an asterisk next to it. Because the the woman who won does not feel good about winning. I know, she, she was like upset, that's her hero. Yeah. She uh, was upset, yeah. Uh, you know, if she had beat her fair and square, I think she would have felt better. Okay, uh, uh, but okay. really, both of them got robbed by that decision. Weren't the sets that she beat her by pretty decisive? Yes, I think yeah. so. But yeah. that's it's not the four, point. Six, the two. point is, the point is, by interfering in a final match of the of the of the finals, the final match of the uh, Open for women, uh, to make that kind of decision is it's it, it, it's wrong. It's just wrong. So you kill know. the umpire. Like, yeah, right? don't, don't get so thin-skinned because Serena called you a thief. She didn't call you a cock-sucking asshole, you know? She could have called him that, right? Yeah, I mean, she may as well no, have. She for was a angry because she was accused of uh, cheating, basically, yeah. and she said she wouldn't cheat to, uh, to win because of the coaching that was being uh, afforded her. 
Well, I mean, so what if somebody on the sidelines is coaching you? Although they say, if you look at the videotape, she never once looked at him. Yeah, yeah. that was bullshit. They said that the he, he was getting yeah. her hand signal. Yeah. Uh, he uh, admitted it, didn't he? Huh? Didn't the coach admit he was coaching her? No. But whether she saw it or not is questionable. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, the same she, thing has happened with men playing. They do it all. And no penalty was ever assessed. Yeah. That's men. What's your problem? And, and so, so first offense was that she was taking coaching. It took three offenses to get, have her give up a game, okay? Which at, at that was point it a was a game or a point? A, a game. 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 Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, she, uh, the first thing was the coaching thing. Then she broke her racket. Right. And then she the called. Future. Then she called the uh, the uh, referee or whatever they call the guy. Cocksucker. Uh, 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 a thief, a thief, yeah, and that was it. That was three oh, strikes. You're out. You've lost a game. Well, at that point, she was back a game, so it it really was a you know. And in all fairness to Serena, she's known for comebacks in those games, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, and at the end of the day, I think they've been trashing her since she came back. Anyway, I mean they 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 marked her at three hundred. Since she came back from having her kid, yeah, and nobody she's, liked her. She's had to come work. back, and, and then she's been, to, trashed like, she's been trashed about her clothes. She's been trashed about what she wears. She's been, she's been that whole that whole fucking tennis thing is Captain? just as corrupt as gymnastics is, you, what, what, and ice skating. Tutu with a little car accident, and ice uh, skating as well. Killed. It's bullshit. They've been trashing her all the way through. And she's fought through it, and she probably just finally, you know, lost her cookies. Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, uh, there was a lot of pressure on her. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's the way I look at it. And she just finally she lost it, and it was at the wrong was, time, maybe. But was she the tennis player that was in the car accident? That yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, the guy got killed, uh, but it wasn't her fault. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he got killed. Did he? No, I, I remember. I don't. Yeah. Think, I, I don't. Died, yeah. Did, yeah, it was did he, a, did he, a, a accident in an intersection. I think the yeah, guy but I don't. A, I don't I, think it. I turned out. I don't think it was her her fault. In no, it was not her fault. Yeah, but uh, but the driver of the other car, I believe, died. Yeah, yeah, but did, like, wait, what's still talking about? Oh, this Serena, happened several Serena, years ago. This happened a couple of years ago, where she uh, she was driving through an intersection. She had the right of way, and somebody plowed into her. Yeah, it was down in like Florida. That. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was, and it was, uh, yeah. it was Venus, anyways. Venus, not oh, Serena. You're Venus. right. It was Venus, was not it Venus? Serena. Yeah. Take a drink, everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wasn't sure. Hey, no, no, Phil was, finally, Phil question. finally dragged us. Sister. Phil finally dragged us down with him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I asked it as a question. I said, "Was she the one?" No, no, no. I thought it was. I, she I couldn't I remember. Was she the... I would like well, to. I would like to say they were sisters, but in your case, Phil, as you know, they all look alike. They all. Oh. <laughs> you still going to die soon anyway. So what's the matter? Joke. I thought they were all sisters. You know, hey, sister. You know, well, some are more sisters than others. But yeah. uh, what concerned me, though, uh, everybody's brother. No, no, I'm not. Yeah. There are hey, some brother, people, can you spare yeah, a dime? Great song. There are some people I would not be brothers to. Shit, Jack looks like he's going to come through the screen right now. Am I come through the screen? <laughs> How come you can see Jack and I can't? The lighting. No, he's got the circle with his initials. Oh, but that's because you don't have it set to Windows. I'm switching bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Call back. Oh, so yeah, you only get so many pictures, and then the extra one is. I'm is putting. I'm putting Jack's bubble. I'm putting Jack's bubble right next to yours. <laughs> I got it. I, I moved Jack down. Now I got three big and four small. And now I see Jack. Okay. Hey, I got Jack square right next to bigger. yours so you can go Phil, at it. Phil. Can your hit can your face head get any bigger? I mean, come on. Come on. Let's get it in there. <laughs> I, I I got a phone that's sitting on the desk. Move and, it back uh, some because I can't take it anymore. You're in the bubble. <laughs> What's that shirt say? Your uh, T shirt. U T D. One of the colleagues around here. 
Yeah, I, uh, I, I, uh, um, what was I going to say? I forgot. <coughs> I don't know. I'm punchy today. That, that oh. Naomi Osaka, mm-hmm. she is smoking hot, too, let me tell you. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah, she's like Tiger Woods. She's Asian yeah. and a uh, mixed Beautiful. Person, right? I was about to say, somebody called her Japanese, and in my house, we call her Blackanese. <laughs> <laughs> She almost hey. looks black. It's strange, right? Oh, Which yeah, yeah. Part? Her father was black. Oh, or, yeah. oh okay. All right. She's oh, like Tiger mother. Woods. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't accidental, Bennett. It ain't accidental. Well, no, I just said they said she's Japanese, and I looked at her, and I went, yeah, I can see she's Asian, but she's also awfully black for an Asian. Her last name's Osaka. Is the... You sure it's <laughs> not the mother that's black? Maybe it's the mother. I don't know. It I... has to be, or unless the... I'll look it up. Well, look, I knew a black guy who well, I wanted. You, know you might be right. You knew a black guy? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least one. I knew a black guy I went to high school with whose name was Tony Lazari. You know, okay. us black folks, we just use these names. They're not our names. Mm-hmm. I had a we black lost, friend we once. Lost, we lost our names during the Middle <laughs> Passage. When the mm-hmm. oppressed All right. All right, <laughs> All right Cunty Kinte. Jack is right. Jack is right. Her father was Haitian. Really? Oh, okay. By the way, we we, 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 were uh, uh, Osaka. So she took her mother's name, maiden name. We were babysitting for the cat again a while back, about a week ago. And I I finally gave her a new name, uh, Cunty Kitty. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Do you still have the kitty? No, no. no. Kitty's back. Now, you better be careful with that because somebody might accuse you of um, Uh, harassment. Of what? Harassment. Hunter? Oh, speaking of harassment. Yeah. Yeah. You know, look. Pussy harassment. I mean, I'd hate to see you on the beach like uh, Les is right now. Well, this is what I'm saying about Les Moonves. And I say this because, you know, I mean, I'm up for the job, but I don't want it. Uh, I, I'm a little bothered by the fact that the allegations are 20 years old. Yeah, 25, I think. Alex. Now, yeah. now I realize that the you know the guy was a, maybe if if it's all that they said he was aggressive and so on and so forth. I understand that, but given the time that it happened. I understand that there wasn't an inner self saying, hey, you're not supposed to do this. I mean, he should have known better. But I just feel I, I just feel that 20 years is an awfully long time to not let somebody say, hey, I've become a more mature adult. I know better now. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think it is? Is it Bill Cosby's thing that's making them go back 50 years and come out now? Well, I just know. You know what it is? This fucking <laughs> asshole, Ronan Farrow. Yeah. Oh, he's involved. Right. I saw him Who, today. Right. You know, I'm just waiting for the for something to happen where we suddenly find out Ronan Farrow's done something terrible, and I would right. couldn't be happy. Didn't he? No. Well, what she going on last him. week about some woman sexually assaulting you, and that was what forty years ago. The fat lady, right? The heavy well, lady. Not forty years ago. No. Oh come on. Thirty. How how long? Thirty, maybe. 30 years ago? Yeah. But all I'm saying is... uh, She must have been desperate. We don't need to get into that right now. What I'm talking (laughs) about is is that I'm I'm, I'm just saying that this guy is going around. He's relentless, ruining careers because he wants another Pulitzer, you know, because Uh, he wants to put another badge on his his Boy Scout uniform. He and, wants to do and, better. And when you have to go for... back 20 <laughs> years to dig something up on somebody, and then you have somebody telling you it, and you figure, well, as long as she's telling it to me, it's the truth, and then you publish it, and then all of a sudden uh, corporations who are worried about this sort of thing uh, suddenly decide, uh, well, we got to get rid of them. Now, you got to remember that Les Moonves made that network a fucking fortune. And, and I, you know, it isn't just by luck that he was, you know, the the uh, president of the network and in charge of programming for many years. It was because he did the job, because that that was the most successful network on television. 
Um, Do you think that there was a, an atmosphere similar to Fox with uh, Charlie Rose, Les Moonves, and all these other CBS executives that uh, you know were basically doing an ales? They say they say mm -hmm. that according to everything I've read, that none of these things happened under CBS's watch. Okay. They happened when he was at Warner Brothers and when he was at a, uh, some other places, but not when he was at CBS. So if mm -hmm. it didn't happen while he was at CBS, then why should CBS even care? It's none of their fucking business. It's the business of Warner Brothers if they want to say he'll never work here again. But, you know, now, he, wasn't, he wasn't found guilty of anything. He, uh, he wasn't accused of anything. Is this going to go to trial or something like no, that? No, no, no. There's no yeah. trial. That's the problem. There is no yeah. trial. That's that's crazy, I think. Yeah, you're right. But, you I know, mean, they, he, he's going to get a $120 million payout. If, uh, if they find no wrongdoing. If they find no wrongdoing, they, they're going to try, and he's going to have to lawyer up and sue them to get the money. Yeah. Uh, but it's just because they don't want to pay. He's made a lot of money. He's worth about... I don't know, half a billion dollars. You know, he's he, he's, he's wealthy enough. But uh, I just think, how far do we go back with this thing and how long do we let Ronan Farrell keep getting away for what I consider specious uh, reporting because Every, he, he's believing has, anybody that walks in the door and then reports everybody, it. Everybody has something in their past. If somebody's going to find something on Ronan Farrell. I don't. I, I, I they're, don't. They're, Huh? You don't I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, there, I, there might be some nutcase who, you know, who who wants to get even with me for something, who might make some claims. But you never can. Not you. I said Ronan Farrell. Oh, Ronan Farrell. Yeah, somebody will come up with something on him. I, you know, he's pissing off too many people for them not to go. Back well, he's after ruining him. careers with just yeah. the say so. Of, of of women who were talking about something that went on 20 years ago who may have just, you know, they're blaming their failed careers on him. Yeah. That's kind of rough. Yes, Jack. Well, I got to go, but I want to uh, say this before I get out of here. Uh, Donna said this to me this morning and about the uh, payout, and her question was, all right, he's getting all this money. How much is Julie going to ask for to stay with him? <laughs> actually, yeah. actually, yeah. actually, they've had a very successful marriage. Uh, it, it's been a very successful marriage. Uh, she supported him uh, huh? when he was first accused. Yeah, but, but okay, but you guys oh, she got still on, uh, She still does. She still does. Look, it, 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 none, this none of this. A Hillary Clinton for supporting Bill. None of, none of this happened under her watch. None of this happened while they were married. Well, yeah, she yeah. made a big statement that she doesn't, yeah. she so, still supports him. So she doesn't him. care what went on before they were married. She only cares what's going on now. And I I think uh it it you know, if he had done this, if we gotten a report that somebody's accusing him and it happened 2 years ago, then I'd say, "Okay, fair game." All right? But 20 years ago, you know. And it was like it was stuff like he he uh, wanted happy endings. Well, it reminds me. Right? It reminds me of the days of the uh, of the uh, House Un American Activities Subcommittee, in which there was a period of time in this country in the late '30s or mid '30s, when uh, you know the country was in bad financial straits, when a lot of Americans joined the Communist Party. It was just the thing to do. It was very trendy to do it. Cut to the 50s, and all of a sudden they're being asked, are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? And, you know, and the so, black and what they'll probably say is, hey, I did that for about three and a half weeks, and now I'm not doing it anymore. It's the same thing as, did you touch her 25 years ago? It's trendy now to go crazy over something 25 years ago. Hey, if, if once the rules have been set, the, the seed changes happen, and you do it, then yes, you should be very well thumped. And I think that if you did it, you're a creep anyway. But, you know, nobody said there were rules that way. You know, back in the day when he was doing that, they didn't even have HR at these companies. Now, what's going on with Harvey Weinstein? It's like at a lull. Yeah, it's in a lull. The, yeah, they're, It's going to come up that they're going to, like, uh, put him on trial. He's going right? to get off. He's going to get off. Yeah, I know. I, I think you could be right when... 
We, I'm I dying. To which is more than he ever did with those women, you know. Because this will set a precedent, right? <laughs> what? When they when they do the Weinstein thing, it will set some sort of precedent. No, no, no. no. He, he no. had no. it dead to rights with the email. I mean, at least we'll know how these trials go once it's finished. No, so his, his, his is, it, to begin with, there are no other trials right now, <clears throat> if you think about it. There, there is not a, a Spacey trial. There's not a trial against Did you, oh, Louis not to C.K. Alex, but I hear now that people are starting to mumble that we should forgive Spacey. Have you heard like no, that? No, that was that was uh, his co-star. What's her name? Um, yeah, you uh, brought that up. That's where I heard it. Right. Robin Wright. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, today I read. I think it was uh, Norm Macdonald has come out and said, "Come on, lay off Louis C.K. and lay off who was the other one?" Right. He, he was saying, "Lay off of." I'm trying to remember. You remember uh, how is, many? Is that the one from the CBS down? News? Uh, no. Let me see. Charlie Rose. No. Oh. Hold on a yep. second. I got to. What about gotta, Aziz Ansari? Remember they went after him and you haven't heard from uh, that, him again. Either. That was short lived. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out where I have it. Um, uh, I probably erased it already. Uh, but Norm MacDonald asked, uh, you know, said the Louis C.K. Mm -hmm. thing was ridiculous. And there was one other that he was talking about that was. Oh, yeah. It was, uh, it was the Roseanne thing. He felt that that was overreaction, you know. So did Goodman. I think I I look. Uh, I I think that she was stupid. All right, and but she apologized. That she did. She said, "I did something wrong, and I apologize. I realize now it was wrong. I meant it as a joke, and I was wrong." I think that should be enough. But, you know, these networks are so, f they don't stand behind anybody. No, they stand behind the bottom line. Yeah. And they were, they were afraid that, uh, you know, it would. Uh... Now she's going to Israel, Roseanne, right? She's like, I'll be in Israel when they do the Connors, the, you know, the new one that's you know going to come out. Yeah. She's like, she's really pissed that, you know, I mean, she did come out. She said, uh. I didn't even realize that the you know she didn't know the lady was black. She said, "Do you believe that?" That no. she said, "Monk." <laughs> no, I don't know about that. I did you ever did you ever listen? I, one day I was driving home, I think from Fresno or something, and I and I'd switched it over to Fox for some reason on the radio, and she was doing an uh, interview with Hannity, and it was about an hour long, and I listened to the whole thing. She's very. Did you guys racist. ever hear any of that? No, I heard. I heard of racist. It, it was it was pretty interesting. It was pretty interesting. I, she, I, she, he dug a lot out of her, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it was, it was pretty down to earth what she was coming back with, and she wasn't, she didn't come across racist. She oh. didn't come across any of that. Because they Goodman, say she's not a racist. Yeah. John Goodman said that in all the years he worked with her, she was not a racist. Right. She said that she, you know, she came across as, you know, a Republican, but not uh, a, an extreme Republican. She came across as a, you know, a, more of a fence type. And I, and I got, I had a little bit more respect for her when she listening to that interview. It was pretty interesting. Mm. I, you know, it was with Hannity, so I, I actually listened to the whole damn thing, but. Well, before she did that faux pas, I used to hear her saying how um, she actually feels that, you know, she was before Trump, you know, going on Twitter when she was running for president. I remember when she did that. I mean, it was a big joke, you know, that she was doing it on Twitter and all that. And, you know, it was, that was a real joke. But, I mean, they say she was the pre, you know, preclusion to whatever for Trump trying to do that now, you know, and it won. But, uh, well, she she admitted, you know, she she voted for him, but she says he's, you know, she also says he's done a lot of crazy things, and you know, uh, that's yeah. the thing. If you, it's a not a bad listen to if you listen if you can look it up yeah. and find it. I saw Tony raise his hand. Yeah, sheepish I wish you to say something too about this whole Roseanne thing. You know what makes me really question it too is that I think she really did didn't mean anything really by it. But you know what scares me though is that. It's almost like, I don't mean it to make it a white or black thing or a racial thing, but it's almost like if you're a white person, it's like you really can't make a joke about any other people. Yeah, you got to watch But everybody that. else can make it. See, I don't get it. It's like, and people want to label people right away. It's almost like if they find somebody who has talent, I think, yeah. whether it's writing or acting or anything, 
I think people are really jealous of maybe people's positions. Rose, people are just, uh, first of all, let's move this. We want them out of the company. Let's boot them out this way. Jack, I think uh, Jack, people involved. They want him out. They want him, and this is a way to get him out. Maybe Jack's got his hand up. Jack, well, uh, I got to go, but uh, Tony, uh, America has a history of hiding racism in humor. Now, I'm as much of a racist as anybody. I don't like any son of a bitch. Tell you the truth, <laughs> but. Um, um, Wait, is it really racism? When I saw Eddie Murphy do his stand-up well, war, he, and I, I thought Eddie was fabulous. All right. He talked well, about well, it. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm going to give you an example of something that's a complete opposite. Has anybody ever called out Chris Rock for all the references he makes to how funny white people are, oh, these white people this, these white people that? Mm. Nobody ever Dave calls Chappelle out Chris Rock for that, about. and I consider that... It, it, and in any other venue, it would be considered racist humor if it were white, black doing it about white doing it about blacks. Well, you why, bet well, you why haven't you done it? Why haven't I done it? Yeah, why because I don't find I don't find Chris Rock funny, and so therefore I don't think adopting his sense of humor would be funny either. It, it, all right, Richard Pryor did some of the same kind of humor. Yeah. I love Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't find that to, to be funny either. I, then, I like self-deprecating humor. Yeah, you know, it's not like, racist. No, well, it's you know what I mean? I'll humor. tell you, I'll tell you, and it, it was slightly different with Pryor. And I, I, and I, I kind of have to figure out exactly why it was different. But it was that it was making fun of, of white people, but to white people, to a white audience, to make that white audience laugh. In other words, we, he was making fun about, oh, white people do this, and this is the way we blacks look at it. It had a slightly different tinge to it than when I hear when I hear uh, Chris Rock do it, in which it's just blatantly racist. He's not Richard Pryor. Uh, yeah, he's not Richard Pryor. Exactly. And, and he can say it all he wants. He just acts dirty, but you don't have the talent. And he does. I will tell you this, and then I'm going to go. I have heard the same kind of humor amongst black people ever since I was a kid. You know, we're just as racist as anybody else because we're Americans. Yeah, and but I think what Alex is trying to say, Jack, they try to label people too fast. They who? Just people in general. Well, the media. Yeah. They want to put a label on somebody well, well, and stereotype you. Well, uh... Well, they don't even know these people. I How the really well do they know any of these people? The media, whoever the media is, do they ever know anybody? Yeah, but you know what? The media is very powerful. They could paint the picture on you, and you could be done by the what, end of the week. What yes. Jack's saying is the key word is they. What is they? Well, it's the people in charge who write the checks. Who They can make or break a career. Alex, if you were on the end now, and you said something they didn't like, said the political people, they can get you off from oh, I, I, I always felt, and I think, I, I think Jack would agree with me, that I always felt I was one wrong statement <laughs> away from being fired. And I was being asked to do a talk show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know, uh, it's kind of like get us ratings. Say whatever you got to say to get us rating. Oh, wait a minute, you couldn't say that. But, Sorry, you're fired. But, yeah, yeah. Nobody in our business who has any kind of cutting edge or sharp wit or humor is anything but one statement from being fired. If you remember the old WKRP in Cincinnati, uh, Howard Hessman, as Dr. Johnny Fever said, I said booger, and the next thing I knew, I was in El Paso. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, that's true. Though. Uh, I, you know, I mean, but, but we, li we lived a life of, of always walking on the razor's edge. You know? I saw a joke from Johnny Carson, and... I was, uh, when I came to work the next afternoon, I was escorted into the program director's office for saying, you shouldn't have told that joke. That joke had a sexual innuendo. And I said, yeah, it was an innuendo. It was a double entendre. Well, this is a family company. And I'm going, what? I don't see any of your family members walking in here or going to the sales slots. And um, it wasn't... Uh, I was not fired, 
but I was uh, I was told in no uncertain terms that uh, any promotion that I ever expected with that company was not there. I'd been there five years, and I said, well, fuck it. I got five more years to go to be vested in the pension plan. I ain't going to say a damn thing. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, all I'm saying is they hire you to be a talk show host. They hire you to be provocative and to get them ratings. And then when you are, you're so close to the edge that at any moment you could get fired for something you say. And people like us are sitting on the other side just waiting for you to cross over that edge. Yeah. And that's the thing is, you know, we sit there on the other side going, okay, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? What's he going to do? And we're waiting for you to cross over the edge. And, oh, he crossed over the edge. And then you guys get pulled into the freaking office. Well, I once said to a program director, I said uh, to to this guy, no one as a listener ever said, did you hear Jack Bishop play six tunes in a row? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. That son of a gun said on his afternoon show. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I I felt for you guys. Well, send a check. That makes it all better. <laughs> yeah. I'll send it in Gabnet. Dollars. Look who we've been joined by. Ray <laughs> Renati has joined us. Uh and you Hello. got you got to go, right, Jack? I got to get out of here, man. I got I got to go to the bathroom and get something to drink for the show. Oh, uh, okay. Later. Bye. He'll be Bye. on the intersection right after we're through here. And Charlene, call me, please, please. Oh, I, I will. I will. Please, Don't worry. Please. I'll stay awake. <laughs> right, I'll give you coffee. Yeah. Hello, Ray. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? You're perfect as usual. And yourself? Uh, 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 imperfect as usual. <laughs> What's he doing? I can't see. Oh, he's got the fire head, right? He's not I, I walking stare- the dog? No, he's got- oh. no, no. Just my... No, I'm Too just sitting here. Yeah. I'm just sitting in my uh, my partitioned office. That's San Francisco Giants hat. Uh, Niners. 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 Oh, mm-hmm. okay. All right. Just, yeah. Just wondering about that. Just wondering. Yep. They win. That. No. Yeah, okay. okay. They did not. They did lost they to the Eagles. Knee? Is anybody taking a knee anymore? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they are. Two. Oh, two guys. Of Miami did. Dolphins did. Yep. I take a knee every Dolphins morning. Dolphins have knees? Well, you know, you know what your boy Trump said? He said that taking the knee is like sitting. It is not. God. No, actually, no, if you don't well, well, if thing. you don't get if you don't kneel for the queen, you get your head cut, chopped off. Right. You know, kneeling is a sign of uh, respect. respect. Yes. It is. Yeah. I mean, all they're saying is no, please kneel please stop shooting them. people. What what what, what? They, they, they kneel when they knight them. They curtsy or bow uh, for the queen. But they've been known to kneel for the queen as well. Yeah, because the, you know, the queen then knights them with the, you know. No, but after that, they still have been known to kneel. It's it's part of the ritual. You know, Ray said something, and he made me think of, um, isn't there a new thing now, breathing while black is is a crime and you get shot by the cops? Yeah, that's, that's, that that's what they're complaining about. Yeah. That's that case where the uh, is it a female cop walked into? She thought it was her own apartment. Yeah, that's in Dallas. Actually, yeah, Dallas. Oh, black man in my apartment. Bam. Right. Oh, not my apartment. Sorry about that. So now he that is respond to her. Hey, he was gonna die anyway. It was. Yeah, he, right. he was only still 26. He only had like lot, four so. days to live. Yeah. Well, oh, she was gonna die anyway, or him? Yeah, she was gonna yeah, die. Him. Oh, he was, he was gonna, gonna die, die anyway. anyway. Yeah. Uh. If she oh, well. didn't get him, somebody she else would have, right? <laughs> the guy, the, the, she really picked a good guy, too. He was like, a, he sang uh, um, for the church. For the church. church. Uh, he yeah. was a member. He was he worked for. Um, who, Community member, worked for an accounting and stuff. Oh, yeah. Accounting firm, yeah. Or yeah. Something. yeah. Yeah. He was, oh, she screwed up. Uh, he screwed you know, up. He lived one floor above him, her. Yeah. This could have been all due to being a noisy neighbor and walking to... Knock three uh, times on the ceiling. That's probably what you know it that was. that old song? Knock yeah. three probably. times on the ceiling. Yeah. I, have, I have wanted what? to do this to the woman that lives above me. You know? Damn it. Just do it then. Do it. Oh, no, I They're going to die it. anyway, Phil. He was they know it. It. Right, Phil. Right. They're going to die anyway, eventually. Yeah. Tell them what I know. Phil doesn't work. 
Jones. He was probably up there playing bongo drums and you, doing you his tribal dance. You know what I love about Phil tonight? Right. He can't overpower us because he hasn't got a good microphone going. I know. So great. <laughs> Phil, why are you all distorted and having bad sound? He's on his phone. Uh, because oh. I'm Jewish. Uh, oh, it's I'm Wi-Fi. on my phone. Wi-Fi. There's no, there's no internet in my uh, area right now. Some oh. black guy took away from him. Can you it make the billet? Bit? Oh no, you you beat him on the billet, man. Yeah, but <laughs> he's probably stealing your... the internet from the neighbor next door. Pay the man, Lou. Pay the man. It yeah, makes your I head know, look triangular. Nobody's got into, into, into <laughs> that. Yeah, he usually has like the fastest. Well, how, is it still off? Do you know if it's still off? Yeah, I, I can see uh, on the uh, two machines. There's no, there's nothing there. Did you call them uh, to yeah. ask what the problem was? Yeah, they said it was probably going to be out till nine my time, which is midnight your time. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. well, it, a little bit lower, it, it, right? By the way, folks, they yeah, did exactly what I told them to do. Now yeah, I want to blow up your cheeks. <laughs> uh, there you, you go. Know, <laughs> How are you surfing on the phone? I, I called Alex on Sunday because I was talking to somebody about a film, and I, he pulled this film with a minimal amount of uh, of discussion. I said, you know, it was a car and a truck, and then two seconds later, he says, "This duel with Dennis Weaver." You know, right. I, I, I have to I have to give it to you, Alex. I, you must be the encyclopedia of film. Directed by Steven Spielberg. No, <laughs> right? No, no, no. Because uh, the guy who's the wow. encyclopedia is Shecky. Yeah, he destroyed the movies. Hmm? Well, it must have rubbed yeah. off. Uh, you know, it was pretty impressive. Uh, the cloud, I like the cloud. It. Dennis yeah. Weaver hanging from the helicopter. The, uh, I'm driving with a friend. We're trying to remember this movie. I said, I, I, let me call this guy. He'll know. <laughs> and boom, he knew. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I like the Florbin Project, too. Remember, you, we're talking about it with Bubbles? Yeah. That's an excellent I movie. just looked it up, by the way, because we were asking, he was saying, didn't that, did that come out after uh, uh, 2000. 2001? Wow. No, it's 19, 1970. Which, wow. wait a minute, no, wait a minute. That 2001 was when? 2001 was it? 69? Uh, I'm trying. It was uh, 19 that, years ago. Could have been before that. I was very young. I was I, like four, three years old when it came out, or something. Really? I love that movie. Uh, Which I, movie? I was 2001: A Space I, Odyssey. I was, oh, I was working in yeah, Houston, Texas. I was working. Oh, 68. I just I was off my ear. 68. Okay. Alex, you think that was his best? I don't think that was his best movie though. Who? Kubrick. Yeah. Like another movie he did. One of his earlier films. Clockwork away. But a racetrack. They were like gambling or something. I forgot oh, the, the killing. Yes, I think that was it. Yeah, I like that one better. There I go again. Yeah, that was a good, that was a really good movie. It was totally different. Yeah, that was with Sterling Hayden. Yes, yeah, I think. Let me Google. Yeah, I thought that was better. He than lived in Sausalito, didn't he? Sterling Hayden was the first uh, uh, person yeah, like, I ever shit. interviewed. Hmm. That was a good movie. Uh, Did he, he live in Sausalito on a boat? Yeah, he lived on in Sausalito on a boat. Later on, he was in uh, in Sausalito uh, in uh, uh, an old. Uh, he was actually out in Tiburon, out in an old um, uh, railroad station or something like that, uh, a lumber yard. I can't remember, but he uh, he kidnapped his kid. Do you remember that? And then uh, took him to the South Seas. I know he was he having a, suicide. He, he was in the middle of a divorce thing. And, well, you got me wanting to look this up, Alex. Yeah. I've never heard of this one. And Sterling Hayden, uh, he kidnapped his kid and uh, took him to the South Seas, and they came back, and there was a big, there was a trial about it and everything, and he managed wow. to convince the jury that he had done right because the kid was being taken from him by his by his ex wife. It was one of those custody things. By the way, who just yeah. called us? Is that you, Tim? Uh, yeah, Mr. Benny, yeah, this is Jim Lee calling you. Oh. Just to let you know, uh, sort of hunkering down here, getting ready for uh, Olivia. It's going to whack by us pretty soon this evening. Uh, storm swell, one? wind coming in. i uh, sorry to interrupt your movie discussions on Sterling Hayden, but uh, yeah. we got free sand for our sandbags and all that good stuff out here in Country Hilo. Ha, ha, ha. It's going to be wet tonight. Uh, oh, boy. Boy, that's just uh, paradise, uh, isn't it? Sounds like paradise. It's paradise on a fucking <laughs> stick is what it yeah, is. Because- Winds up to 40, maybe 15 mile, 50 mile an hour gust, so that's going to blow all the dirt away. Aha. Any houses out there I can buy? 
Yeah, all well, of them. You, all of them. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Over, yeah. over by that volcano, it's pretty cheap. Yeah, and, and it's still you can use a rocket real quick. Yeah. Sorry, if you can stand the fog. Is this another <laughs> storm? Because weren't you weathering a storm like two weeks ago or something? Or yeah, yeah, Lane came by. We, we got pretty wet uh, by Hurricane Lane. Uh, there was a lot of flooding around here, and roads were washed out. But really? this time, it's going to be a wind blast. Yeah, all the flights in the island of Maui have been canceled right now. But you see, the interesting yeah. thing about think the interesting thing about it, Jim, is is that Hawaii usually doesn't get hit by hurricanes, does it? I mean, it's, it's yeah. But this, this year we're kind of in the bullseye. Most of the storms go south of us, but this time, who knows? The, the storms are coming a little bit north, and uh, they're coming our way. Uh, but actually, yeah. Olivia has been knocked down to a less than a category one. It's down to a tropical storm, so that yeah. means you know the maximum winds are about seventy miles an hour. Not okay. too bad. With the, uh, uh, with the wash, with the washed out roads, are you able to get provisions and food and all of those things no. and uh, electricity? The washed out. Roads. Well, usually the, the main the main thing is you know that uh, as long as the Hawaiian electric people can restore power when that stuff blows yeah, out. He just so ate. The food he, in the refrigerator doesn't spoil. You he, know what I mean? He, he just ate uh, one of his dogs. Does that answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I well, remember he's got all those in, uh, cockroaches, and uh, there's a lot of protein in those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also 19... all, that, all that spam. We got a lot of spam. That'll keep you going, man. That's true. Um, Won't spoil. In 1981, didn't wasn't there in 81? There was one of the biggest hurricanes ever to hit anywhere in the United States. I think, right? Well, Aliki it was in I believe 92. It hit, it hit Kauai. Uh, Kauai. No, 81. It, it, Aliki was a bad one on Kauai. Yeah, it hit Kauai. I, I, I remember on the Wait a minute. Let, let, me, let me finish that, though. There's a little piece of trivia here. Uh, it hit Kauai, and they had to cease filming Jurassic Park. Oh, oh right, right. Because of the, of the storm. And then when, they, when the storm was over with, the island was so leveled that they actually had to, like, build sets and do things like that to kind of rebuild what they were trying to shoot. Yeah, yeah. They wow. lost about six people. Out there at that time, yeah, there were some casualties. Actually, uh, the, the ports are all now in con- what they call condition Zulu, so all the big ships have co- gone to sea, uh, or anything that moves in and out of the ports has to get permission of the, the port or captain. You know, the, the captain of the ports. So, like at Pearl Harbor, the fleet's gone out. All the battle group carriers have gone out. The subs are all gone to sea now. Yeah. Because uh, you don't want to get bounced around <laughs> wow. when the waves come in. Well, uh, you know, keep yourself safe, Jim. Okay, sure. Enough. Sorry to interrupt. You guys go back and chat about your movie. You got a good signal coming in on the Wi-Fi. I can I can see you on the Wi-Fi yeah. at least for now, uh, before our Wi-Fi blows out pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> have, have a good day, y'all. Okay, bye bye. Right. Right. That's our uh, good What's friend uh, James volcano? Lee. He lives on the island of Hawaii along with our good friend Renee Collins. You know, uh, and. Uh, Keep uh, keep safe from the storm. If you're listening to us, Renee, I don't see her on the chat. So she left to listen to the weather. She left to listen to the weather. Yes. Yeah, that's what okay. she does. Yeah, because she doesn't want to. You know, she wants to be informed on the storms too. I guess. Yeah. Well, of course, of course. But it might affect her. Yeah, yeah, my wife's boss is supposed to head over there to to celebrate his fiftieth birthday this weekend. <laughs> oh, really? Don't know if that's going to happen. Forget mm-hmm. about it. Hey. Trump gave us the weather report uh, for South okay. Carolina. He says it's going to be wet, wet, wet. I guess the same thing for Hawaii. Yeah. He's a, yeah, and according a, to him, it's the uh, biggest storm it ever hit, ever. Mm. Yeah. This Very is the bad. biggest storm <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> ever, ever hit, ever. Ever, yeah. ever dot, dot, hit dot. the world. Did a good yeah. job there. Yeah. Uh, now, a lot of people don't know that. Many, many people say a thousand years. It's many, the many biggest storm Ray, ever. Ray's, Ray's I love it how he got an A plus for Houston. Did you hear that? And, and an A plus for uh, what was the other? How, how, where the, who who puts out these grades of A plus for? Thank you, Brody. You did a great job. Hey, Ray, your Yo. Trump sounds like Bill Murray doing Trump. <laughs> it does sound like Bill Murray. Yes. I, agree. I don't know what you're talking about. But here we are. Right. I, I do the best Bill Murray Trump anywhere <laughs> on the planet. Most A lot of people don't know that. One day. Right, but right. it's absolutely true. On the 18th I mean, green. Maybe Trump is Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. It could be. So any anything else happening in the news that we haven't covered? 
It, it Paul just, McCartney jacked off with John Lennon. What? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute, wait a minute. I just wait. read that. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Renee at the what? last oh, one. I, I, oh, wait a minute, you just uh, read like what? The, that he No, Paul McCartney said it himself. What, they like, jerked off yeah. together? Yeah, the, all the Beatles jerked off together one day. Circle jerk! Thinking about Bridget Bardot. Really? Uh, yeah, exactly. as like a, a, a group jerk off thing. Well, where did I miss that memo? I, I just saw it in the, the news. Like, like, hey, was there ago. a song by the Beatles that to, uh, together or something? Uh, yeah. 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 By the way, there's uh, there's uh, there's <laughs> Renee, and crazy. it looks it looks like it's okay, isn't it? How's the weather? So I heard so it, the all right. Bah. So as much crap as we give James and Hilo for his rain, because Hilo gets a lot of rain. This side of the island where I'm at gets a lot of wind. So as soon as they said that the hurricane was going to take a beeline for Oahu, things got better for me because we're used to this. We're used to the wind. So there's a town near us, and if anybody wants to look it up, it's called Waikoloa uh, on the Big Island of Hawaii. Its actual nickname is Waikabloa yeah, because I it's almost always windy there. So I'm fine. Thank you for asking. James is probably a whole lot happier because. It, it's really bypassing us by quite a bit. So um, who said that they've got somebody coming over here and what island and when? This weekend and what island? Uh, Kevin. Kevin. I think they're going Kevin's into Honolulu. Boss. I spotted. Who? Uh, who? Um, if he wants to. <laughs> okay, so it's going to hit. I've been watching a new app, and it's called windy.com, and it's just spell it just the I, way it I is. I have a new app. one I've been watching called stormy.com, but. There That's you go. It's about Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Daniels. So, <laughs> so <laughs> according to this app and everybody else, it will be past Honolulu by then. So I don't think that's a big deal. Who's going over because, there? Pardon? Who's my, going? Wife, my wife's boss. Oh, your wife's boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, according to everything, it'll be gone in the next, by Thursday, easy. It, we shouldn't be seeing a whole lot of stuff because Wednesday, it's pretty much past all the islands anyway. Well, so is that that's a different okay. one. My that's wife's coming one. back from China on Thursday and the trouble is the hurricane might be hitting the east coast at that time. Well, I was going to say to you is if she needs a place to hang in between her travels, just tell her to come on over and I'll put her up. <laughs> <for as long laughs> yeah, as you just want. drop by Hawaii. Just well, she, can, she can come to Dallas too. It's okay. I got an extra room. Yeah, she could do, no, but here, here's how she could do it. a little DB Cooper deal. As soon as they're going over Hawaii, she just <laughs> jumps out of the plane and lands <laughs> in your backyard. Just make sure she gets the money. Yeah. Uh, if, so if she's going to do her, a DB Cooper. You wanted to get the money. Right. Yeah. Let let her know that she's got a place in Hawaii to stop, and she also has a place in Texas to stop. Yeah. So oh, Jersey too. She, she also has a well, place. Now, see, Jersey's going to be shut down because I've been watching your hurricane on windy.com as well, and it's looking nasty over there. Oh, thanks, Renee. I'm going to have that. Yeah, because I'm getting scared. It looks like it's coming towards us a little or something. Windy.com. Well, There's something, some joke there besides the stormy one that I came up with, but it's got to be. So the the Carolinas are used to this. What's going to happen is, is that if it gets into a, a densely populated area, it's going to be a big issue for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, so listen. I wish all luck. Well, we wish you luck, if, and and uh, it sounds like you're not in for the long haul on this deal, but, you know. We're already done. Yeah. Almost already done. Hey, listen, thank you so much, uh, Charlene and Jeff, the two first people online tonight. Jeff has not said one thing tonight. Right? Yeah, very quiet. Very quiet. Phil Meyer, thank you so much. Scott Boddicker. You've been a little noisier than usual. That's fine with me. I've been drinking a lot. Because you're drinking a lot. You're, get <laughs> good. Call us, get drunk, and then call us. We love yeah, you. I need to. I need uh, Kevin, thank <laughs> you. Uh, thank you, Ray Renati. Thank you, Tony you Magno. And keep safe, Jet keep soldier. warm. Uh, uh, Renee Collins out there in the Everybody island of Hawaii. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> I like Kevin. He was doing the Trump uh, uh, thing from today when he was at Shanksville. Uh, what an asshole. Anyway, and I love saying he's an asshole because Phil can't say anything back. Anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
let me just uh, turn these uh, this whole thing off here because uh, next we've got uh, 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 the intersection with Jack and then uh, followed at uh, one o'clock in the morning by yes you know uh, connections tomorrow night 8 30 franchise MC's got the arena followed by Damian Chaplin at 9 30 with the exchange I'll see you back here again tomorrow night 10 o'clock eastern daylight time same time same station in life in the meantime if you see her tell her I love her okay bye-bye <laughs>